This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald Grimm here and welcome to our video. Vixen Challenge is out and I'm going to fight every single difficulty and uh, try and help you out uh, to beat this challenge. It's not going to be particularly difficult for most people, but there are some new players that might struggle with this. So in the difficulties that you'll see here, you're going to easily be able to like just drop for the first one only one multiverse character in there. And for the second one, just drop two multiverse characters in there and just drop your best character to carry the fight. But... Uh, other than doing that, because I like could clear every single difficulty until the last one by doing that and I could just drop my best multiverse team and destroy the third difficulty with no problems, that doesn't help anybody. So throughout every single difficulty, I'm going to use uh, various uh, multiverse team characters that you might have access to and try to show you some, uh, not necessarily exploits, but some ways you can use to make your life easier in this challenge. So while fighting in every single difficulty, we're going to use a team that's intended for like the third difficulty where you have to use three multiverse characters. Until you get there, you don't have to do what I do. You can just use any team that is at your disposal and put your best damage there to carry the fights. Okay, so uh, the characters that I'm going to sh be showcasing to help you out for the third difficulty, but keep in mind, those are the bare minimum that you can use and you can definitely do better, but if you have no better option, then you can uh, kind of make use of some of the strategies I'm going to show you. Keep in mind, you don't need three of them, I put all of all the three of them uh, in the team. I mean, you need three multiverse characters, but you don't need those specific three. I put the three of them in the team because each one of them has a way to help you out that I'm going to showcase. So first of all, I removed all the gears, by the way, for this, because they were just killing it too fast. We're going to have the multiverse super girl with a special 2 spam that we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, then uh, we're going to um, have ourselves the uh, multiverse green arrow with the infinite combo and with the level 1 powder box to help us out with that. Again, gearless. And then we're going to have uh, multiverse black lightning with the kind of infinite combo with basic attacks and the armor pierce special 3. So with all that out of the way, let's try to see those things in action. So we'll get through the first and second difficulties real quick because yet again we you still cut one or two spots to use whatever character you want, so that'll be far easier. With the first one, you need to worry a little bit about the tagging of uh, Dark Supergirl because it's gonna be unblockable and it's gonna break your special. And you need to worry a bit about the Kennedy Gorilla Grod Super Shield because if you use a special into that, you're going to die. But those characters are so ridiculously uh, low threat and low gears and low stats overall that you're really unlikely to have any problems clearing this out. It's Especially considering you need only one multiverse character in the team. And we have again the second difficulty, you need two multiverse characters in the team, so you'll have only one room for whatever character you want, so I guess it's a little bit harder in that regard. But uh, other than that, it's not gonna really be difficult. The only thing you need to kind of keep in mind is uh, Vixen's super move, I guess, because she's the only one with super move in that thing, and the fact that you shouldn't back off too much from dead shots. Keep in mind the characters that I'm using here are going to be the characters that I showed you without any gears on whatsoever, and only one artifact on uh, Multiverse Green Arrow. Now, getting into a third difficulty. As I said, you don't need all the characters that I listed here, and if you got other other multiverse characters, if you look, if you have uh, like uh, three multiverse characters and you have none of those characters, then worst case scenario, you are going to have a multiverse White Canary, a multiverse Captain Cold, and uh, a Batwoman, I guess. But yeah, if you don't have any of those, then you are likely to at least have a Flash or a multiverse Armor Supergirl, and that makes things far easier. So first up you can do the infinite combo with multiverse green arrow, if you have a fodder box you can do it for wherever, but if you don't have a fodder box you have to do it for, from where uh, he she is back to a corner, or the enemies. You can use a special tree of multiverse black lightning, and you can use the combo continuation of multiverse black lightning, it goes 3 hits, swipe right 3 hits, 3 hits, swipe right 3 hits. Keep in mind this does not prevent super move in any way, shape or form uh, and or tag ins and outs, but as long as the character is in the fight, if he doesn't do a super move or he doesn't tag out, he's gonna be fine. You can also uh, spam uh, special tools of multiverse uh, supergirl to keep freezing them and you can do this to some extent. And uh, the only problems in this fight are going is going to be actually armored superman. He's going to like block the first ability totally and then he's gonna have a super block so the best way to deal with him is with a high combo super move and that's what I recommend doing. Also he doesn't seem uh, for some particular reason to use any specials 
or at the very least in the few uh, options that I gave him of situations to use specials. But yeah, just use a super move and he will die. Try to get rid of Vixen first because she's gonna be the one who has access to a super move and you don't want that nuking your character. And if it does, just make sure it's not an important character. But yeah, yet again, getting going over this again, you can do like the uh, infinite combo with black lightning. It's not the infinite because they can tag out or use a super move, but you can predict those easily enough. And they sometimes block, but for the most part, it's going to be something useful. You fight without instinct. And yeah, she's being a little bit annoying here. Be careful with her dot because she heals from that. So the more damage she deals to you, the more she heals. So you'll need to be careful with your gameplay. But yeah, a special tree will take it out if the commission. Keep in mind, it's a gearless team here, so this should be easy enough. As you can see, this to totally works on Armored Superman with no problems. He he's gonna eventually tag out and break out of the combo, obviously. But it's gonna work for a long while and you can kind of predict when he'll tag out. Ultra Super Girl back in there, doing some uh, basic attacks. And yeah, Multi Rescue Narrow again here. So how to do this? You go, you engage a combo, it doesn't matter if it's a, with a hit or a swipe, but the thing is, uh, you do your combo normally, and instead of ending it in a swipe, you end it in a back off while blocking, and then swipe right, tap three times, back off while blocking, swipe right, tap three times, back off while blocking. It's it's pretty much infinite combo 101, most characters that are able to do infinite combos, they do it this way. So yeah, those th this is kind of the best I can do in order to help you out, but it doesn't seem that difficult. You might struggle a bit with the third difficulty, but look, I'm using kind of not so great multiverse characters with no gear zone, so you'll be fine, my dude. You'll be fine clearing this one out, and I hope you found my advice in regards to that uh, useful. Okay, now when it comes to gear drops and gem refreshing, good news is going to be that her gears do drop from here. So you're gonna have absolutely no problems in terms of that. Bad news is that refreshing this is gonna be hella expensive, with 150 to refresh the first difficulty. And I'm telling you, like, Vixen is an okay character, it's a good character, but like, the stronger your roster is, the stronger she's going to buff it. It's not like a must-have character for new players, it's more like something that will be a universal support later in the game, and the better your teams are, the better help she will be. So for most people, I don't actually suggest you gem refresh, but if you're not like a new player, like in the first uh, one month of the game, because that's when gems are very valuable and you can afford it, I think you're gonna be fine if you refresh the third difficulty every day if you want to unlock her in the week that she's gonna be available. You might need to refresh the third and the second, and if you need to refresh both of them, then it's really not worth it. Because it's just too expensive, with those amount of gems you'd rather, if you want to refresh a challenge, you'd rather refresh for bad magic or like rods. Again, Vixen is something that's like uh, a Shazam. It's gonna be great if you have it, it's gonna buff your team, but at the end of the day, if you don't have it, then there's gonna be plenty of replacements and your gameplay will not be different in any way, shape or form. So if you want a gem refresh, I suggest you gem refresh the third and the second only, and you should be safe with uh, average and even below average luck to unlock her within a window of a week. Uh, but uh, other than that, I really don't suggest you gem refresh. And one more thing. Okay, so the other thing is that they are kind of peddling some multiverse crap. Uh, so this chest is not going to be great. It's, it's, it's trash. Like, multiverse black lightning is okay. White canary is not. But he's gonna be in the arena season, so there's not much of a reason for you to buy this. And in the special offers, uh, don't buy Multiverse White Canary, don't buy Multiverse Supergirl. If there was a Multiverse Armor Supergirl, they, they maybe could have sold a few of them. But they didn't put that, they put the Multiverse Supergirl instead. You're gonna have the Multiverse Lucky Bag, uh, uh, I don't recommend any of them, it's just gambling. And then there's a Multiverse Mega Bundle. And this one, honestly, because it gives you literally all the Multiverse characters, at, the, at this price is gonna be kind of a word deal, but at the same time for this price you're going to be able to buy yourself a 4 star raven, so you'd rather do that other than this. So if you don't have multiverse characters and you can't farm the challenge properly, just don't worry about it, you'll get them from the arena season, and it's not worth rushing into it and wasting gems, because as I said, Vixen, while she is a good character, a helpful character, she's by no means a game changer and by no means will make a impact to your roster that big to be worth the gem expenditure. Okay, so that was for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found it useful. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. This is the future.